Identify with the good which you desire. When you see it, bless it, love it. When you see people pass by in those big fine cars, bless them, love them. When you see people strolling down the street holding hands, bless them, love them silently. Also, you condition your mind for money by opening your mind to money-making ideas. Open your mind to money-making ideas. And I'm going to give you this affirmation, and it's very simple, but it will work wonders. It is this. I open my mind to money-making ideas. Say that with me. I open my mind to money-making ideas. When you do that, your subconscious just begins to pull in money-making ideas. And as I say, money-making ideas are so commonplace, you're, you're, you're walking over them all the time, but you just don't see them because you don't open your mind to them. There's some of you sitting in here right now who may not even have a grade school education, but you have multi-million dollar talents. There's some of you in here, and I've told you this before, there are many of you in here that can fry chicken better than Colonel Sanders. But you see, he had the idea for merchandising it. And there's some of you here that can make hamburgers better than McDonald's. And that isn't difficult to do. <laughs> but McDonald had the merchandising idea. And that's what made the difference between a hamburger and a multi-billion dollar industry. You see, that's another thing about people. So many times people think that in order to make a lot of money that you've got to have some fantastic idea or some fabulous talent or some fabulous amount of money. And I've told you time and time again that millions and billions have been made out of just the simplest idea. One of the most successful corporations trading stocks on the New York Stock Exchange is McDonald's, all based on nothing but a damn hamburger. <laughs> and it's not that great a hamburger either. Can you imagine that? See what I'm telling you? What's the difference? The idea. The merchandising idea. I have one housekeeper. She's always here. won't call her name. But there's some things that she cooked that are just out of this world. And with the right merchandising idea, there's no telling what could be done. And there's some of you sitting here with just simple, everyday talents worth millions. And how do you receive these ideas? By opening your mind. And just a simple statement, I open my mind to money-making ideas, it will set you up. I was happy to read the other day about the Marriott chain of hotels, which is a multi-billion dollar industry now, started from a root beer stand in Washington, D.C. And many of the great money-making industries came from just little simple ideas. But the big mistake that people make, as I say, is to think that in order to make money, you've got to have some grandiose scheme <laughs> or some world-shaking something. Place your hands in the receptive position and just simply say, I open my mind to right ideas. I open my mind to money-making ideas. In Atlanta the other day, I tasted some peach preserves made by somebody in the kitchen. Because I'm money conscious, I tasted and I said, wow, think of the money that could be made off of this. I said it would be expensive, but you know, there are still those people who want better things and who are willing to pay for it 
and who can pay for them. And, you know, don't let all this talk about cutback. The only people that are going broke are those people who have conditioned their minds to go broke. They're selling more Rolls Royces than ever. I was at the factory the other day in Detroit, the Cadillac factory, and they told me that last summer, they gave me the month, I think it was in the month of June, I went there somewhere in July, I believe, and they said that that following month, which was June, they sold more Cadillacs than ever in the history of Cadillac. The teachings that I give you on this come from a different level of mind. It doesn't simply come from the intellect. And it will help you, it will be a blessing to you. See, that's another thing that we, will, we have to do in conditioning our minds for what we want. Remember that it is a constant work that you have to do. This is what Jesus meant when he said, I must be about the Father's business. You see, the Father's business is keeping your mind conditioned for good. Remember that. The Father's business is keeping my mind conditioned for good. Together, the Father's business is keeping my mind conditioned for good. That's the Father's business. The Father's business is casting forth the good spell, the gospel. You see, and I must do this constantly. Because as I say, from some direction to the other, your mind is going to definitely going to be conditioned. And the world mind will condition your mind for poverty, for sickness, for failure. This is why you must consciously condition your mind for health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. See, nobody has to teach you to be poor. You don't have to put forth any effort to learn that. <laughs> Plenty of people around that will condition you for that. And you'll get that automatically. But to condition yourself for success and prosperity, you have to do some conscious work in that field. Let's stand now and have a good treatment. And I call a money-getting treatment. A mind-conditioning treatment. Matter of fact, let's just have a general mind conditioning treatment for everything good. For health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. Because these are the riches of life. In reviewing some of the upcoming television programs before coming here tonight, one contains that sermon that I preached all over the country this year, how to be rich in every way. And again, the riches of life I define as health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. And money. Now, this is not something that you do just every other day. Because your mind is constantly receiving and transmitting. You remember that. Constantly. And your mind receives that which is like unto its thought. Place your hands in the receptive position. Repeat this with me. Right here and right now. Right here and right now. I consciously condition my mind. For the, good which I for the good which I desire. Right now I condition my mind for health. Right now I condition my mind for health. By recognizing. By recognizing that, God in me that God in me. Is my health. Is my health. Right now. Right now. Sickness, is Sickness is not the truth of me. Health is the truth of me. Soundness of mind is the truth of me. Feeble-mindedness is not the truth of me. 
Forgetfulness is not the truth of me. God has not given me the spirit of fear. But God has given me the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. A sound mind is the truth of me. Health is the truth of me. Strength is the truth of me. Weakness is not the truth of me. Disease is not the truth of me. God's perfection. God's soundness. God's wholeness. God's completeness. God's totality are the truth of me. Thank you, God, in me for help. I condition my mind for health right now. I consciously condition my mind for happiness. Depression is not the truth of me. Discouragement is not the truth of me. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The cheerfulness of God is my strength. Thank you, God, in me for this happiness. And I share this happiness with everyone in my world. Thank you, God, in me for happiness. Love is the truth of me. There is nothing unforgiving in my heart. I cannot afford to hold anything against anybody. I cannot afford the results of unforgiveness. Love is the truth of me. This love brings me together with all of the right people for every right purpose. Thank you, God, in me for love. I condition my mind for love. I love and I am loved in divine order. I consciously condition my mind for success and prosperity. Success is the truth of me. Prosperity is the truth of me. I have nothing to do with failure. I have nothing to do with poverty. Lack and limitation are no part of me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Success is the truth of me. Prosperity is the truth of me. I am the one. That the Bible speaks about. When it says. Whatsoever he doth. It shall prosper. Money is the truth of me. Money is my getting power. Money is the getting power of my self-awareness. And whatever I am conscious of having, I draw this good unto me. 
Therefore, Therefore I see and feel myself having money. I see and feel myself having more money than I have ever had in my life. I see and feel myself having so much money that I have to find new things to do with it. This is exciting. I am fascinated by money. I am fascinated with wealth. I am fascinated with success. I am fascinated with prosperity. I am fascinated with love. I am fascinated with health and happiness. And I draw this good into my life more and more. I enjoy money. I see myself enjoying more money more than ever. I see myself enjoying money in new ways. I see myself traveling to new places. Buying new clothes. Buying everything new that I desire. about having money it is a wonderful feeling to have money to do the good that I desire I'm excited about having money money is my servant my willing servant I do not serve money money serves me I do not serve any of these things, but all things serve me. Now, money, you're welcome. Keep on pouring in. And I see money. And I feel money. Pouring in. I see money. And I feel money. Pouring in. Money making ideas. Keep unfolding in my mind. I see myself with extra money, surplus money, and money making money, 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 money, money making money. Money making money. And I'm fascinated by money. Thank you, God, in me. And now I bless you with the blessings of health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. Good evening.